Hey guys, what's up? This is a COD Survivor, and I'm gonna show you how to remove malware, viruses, spyware, adware, and all that nasty shit that can get on your computer by bad people. So, we're just gonna get started right away here. You, uh, you're gonna need a couple programs. Um, for we're gonna start off with viruses since that's uh, the biggest one I think go ahead and open up your uh, internet browser and search for okay we're doing viruses so I would suggest I would suggest probably Avast I've heard a lot about it and I used it before just search Avast on Google and it's the first one Avast.com I've heard a lot about it and I have actually used it and it is pretty good. I switch though. I don't know why. I probably should switch back. Anyway, uh scroll down, it'll say the newest one released and it'll say or download. Just go ahead and click download. There's a big nice download button for you. Just click it. And you once you scroll down I am English, so you click this download button. Well, it depends unless you want professional. You can choose um you can choose from the other versions like the free the free versions on here. I'm not quite sure where they are right now. Oh here they are. Avas for home. And it's free. So yeah, there's your download button. That's for virus. Make sure to update it. Once you download and install it, make sure you update it and restart your computer just to, you know, uh, realign the memory. And then um, go ahead and scan. Do a full system scan to make sure it's not on smart scan. I believe with AVAS, there's a slider on the left that lets you choose a, uh, a thorough scan. Choose that. That's the best. Now, we're going to go... Um, we're going to do malware or spyware as some people like to call it <sighs> I think the best for that is either um spyware guard or spybot search and destroy they're both really good and you can have them both running at once because spy guard has an active scan and spybot is just a regular scanner it doesn't run in the background or anything it it, it scans when you choose so for both of them s and d just type in spybot s and d and you'll get the home of spybot search and destroy that's what the s and d stands for and then on the left or at the top there's two download buttons and you'll scroll down and it'll have the newest version click on it and choose one of your download locations and just click download here and then you've got a download now button. It's, it's that's relatively small um, for a program as good as this. Spybot is really good. Just make sure it's updated and you immunize your system. It's got a thing called immunization, or it does exactly what it's called. It protects uh, files. So that make sure to up update it and immunize. And then spyware. Um, Spyware Guard, that's what it's called. Let's Google it, and it's the first one. Alright, download downloads are here. And then it's for Spyware Blaster 4.0, or no, not the Blaster, the Spyware Guard 2.2. And there's a download button there. And then uh, you pick which mirror. Minimal setup or the two full setups. They're only like two megabytes, so I mean, I don't know why you'd get the minimal. Now for Adware, I think the best is, well, a really good one anyway. A really good one would be, I'm sick of resizing this window. I'm just going to go like this, guys. Hang on. Sorry, this is just getting annoying. There. 
now you can always see it. I think the best is either Adware um, SE Personal. There you can see it. Adware SE Personal. It's uh, by LavaSoft. Or you can get their newest one. Adware 2007, I think it's called. Yeah, they might have a 2008 out. I'm not sure. Nope, they just have 7. 7 does cost, but it does have a free trial. And um, the Adware SE Personal is completely free. Make sure everything's updated. That's the most important most important part and once you have scanned <clears throat> with any of these tools um, be sure to don't, don't exit out of the program just um, you click finish until it exits for you and then always reboot your computer after something like that okay I hope you guys have learned some cool programs that can remove a lot of crappy stuff from your computer and if your computer is being slow uh, viruses aren't known to drag down your computer as much as spyware if your computer is being slow when you have something like a quad core with 4 gig RAM uh, that was really nerdy but <laughs> if you have a really good computer and it's being really slow it's most likely spyware because um, if it was a virus it would be really obvious this shit would just stop working and mess up on your computer so um thanks for watching i can't escape this